Yo, greetings and salutations. Welcome everybody to the next installment of Alan Wake Remastered. Um, celebrating Scaretober on the channel where we honor horror genre games all month of October. But uh, yeah, when we left. Oh, hold on one sec. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Yeah, when we last left off, that's. Uh... Yeah, he woke up from another nightmare to probably what we're doing is entering another nightmare. But yeah, his car was up on a cliff. And as we walked around the corner and fell down there in the ravine. And so we're supposed to somehow make it back over to this gas station. So uh, I'm guessing we just follow this trail. He said it was going to be a bit of a hike if you watched the previous episode. Um, no flashlight, no gun. But um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we will just follow this trail and head up over to the gas station for whatever reason. I don't know. It was crazy because yeah, Hello? his wife was screaming for him and it looked like she dove off a cliff into the water and he dove in after her. And after he dove or hit the water, he woke up in a car, um, obviously in a car accident. And here we are. So just want to say thanks for the love and support on the channel as always truly mean that your likes, your subs. All that stuff that generates activity on the channel is greatly appreciated. Hello? Cutscene. Cut Someone there? Yes. Rabbit Allen. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Definitely been getting plenty of those. That's for sure. You have found a man manuscript pages. You can access them by hitting this button. Okay. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. <laughs> Grizzly nightmare. Dude with an axe. Okay. All right. We're chilling, man. They, they got me going there. Um, only thing that gets me a bit is, yeah, we have no flashlight. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Can you help a brother out? Instead of trying to scare the bejesus out of us here. There is some light. Yeah, they kind of did a cool little walkthrough tutorial in the first episode. Checkpoint reached. Wow. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. True, true. Yeah, I do like how smooth the camera action is when you, you know, you're panning the camera. Yeah, you can like do it slowly and there's no jittering. But I digress. Nerd stuff. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is like with the uh, thermoses. I guess they're just collectibles. I have no idea. But so far, yeah, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Nice, super chill. Um, story game, that's for sure. No, I guess we're walking up this. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. 
the music. Hey! Drum beats. Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. Oh, wow, I wow. need help. Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please don't touch you. Non-refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> now you die. What? What? Fair and square. All right, man. I mean, we obviously don't want to be hanging around here too long, but I mean, brother, don't have a flashlight. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Let's, let's read it. The taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Uh. I got no freaking flashlight though, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there's the thermos. Don't really need a thermos. What we need is a flashlight. You can't jump that fence. Can you? You can jump up on the truck though. Yeah, we're playing this on normal difficulty. Uh, no, uh, uh. You guys hear me tapping the shit out of that button. I can hear it in my headphones. Okay, all right. We did get the thermos. That's something. If you guys know what the thermos is for, uh, man, if you can let me know in the comments, I would greatly appreciate that. Not like um, how you can heal or something like that. I gotta adjust my noise gates. You guys shouldn't be hearing me pushing the buttons. Okay, that's death. Okay. Second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, we got we got it going on now. See, I'd like to go out and tap this dude. To be I honest. wasn't about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. True. True. Alright, alright. We got something now though. During your your trying walking. It's the latest thing. In testably proven health benefits let you kill two birds with one stone. You can see the sights yes. and keep those I guess we gotta get up out of this place. Wow, 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 wow. Electricity. 
Yeah. Let's, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, this is, isn't like super scary game. I mean, not all, you know, so far. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hope Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. But, yo, it's much more, you know, I don't know, jumpy, scary type of uh, thing than I expected. There were more of them. Let my battery charge a little bit. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Okay, let's take a look around here real quick. Looks like we got an arrow sign right there. Just to go that way. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Nice, we got a flare gun. That's like your get out of jail free card right there. Online. Oh, you know we're going to walk back here and take a look. seen anything look like there's a generator of some sort okay. we're good we're good time to take chill pill The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season! Damn, wrong one. Just smoke check that dude though. I think this is a flare box. Let's open that up. I got batteries. Nice. Revolver ammo. Holy crap, dude. Nice. Okay. I'm guessing we want to go that way, but let's go up and check out this shed, shack. Another manuscript. So I got manuscript collectibles. Got it. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Rose back at the cafe. Wow, that's an old, old tractor. Okay. Yeah, the mechanics are definitely different than, uh, you know, games that you're used to. 
weird like button combos. All right, well, we're, we're good there. All pretty much gated off. Let's obviously don't want to touch that wire. waiting for one of those things to materialize when I saw the river below something uncoiled itself inside my head I realized that I'd have to find a way across I didn't even want to look at the water All right. looks like we go over and get this thermos real quick Gotta go across this log here. Come on, bro. Hop up there. Oh, okay. Maybe just walk across over here. I definitely saw the thermos from a distance. There it is. Yeah, so those thermos are not like a healing thing or anything, huh? Okay. I don't know if they're just collectibles or not. Well, this is crazy AF, will not I? Stucky was here. still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Oh, I thought this is a chest. Okay, manuscript. Got it. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Something was wrong. I'll see. I'm like totally winging this, dude. Yeah, I won't lie, the atmosphere is really good in here because, you know, it, it takes a little bit for you to be like, oh, looking around. Oh my god. But this one does. It has you kind of like on the edge of your seat. You know what I'm saying? For like, no real apparent reason. Get back, get back. Chill, 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 brother. Oh, this guy can throw things. I didn't tell me these dudes could throw things now. What the hell, dude?
That's what I'm talking about. Crazy stuff. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time sitting there looking around looking for manuscripts and thermoses. Staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Okay. Go ahead and grab this loot box. Oh, limit reached. Okay. Go back over here and check this out. There was a gap here. Not much. I hear that breathing. Not getting past that way. Hmm. That's kind of crazy. We must take that road up and around and go over here. I'm guessing. Reach the path above. We're trying. What is this thing? There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Hmm. No idea what those thermoses are for, man. A lot of these helmets around here. Yes, we see the green light. We see it. We see it. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Looks like we're on the main pathway again. And we got a shed. Hmm. used one of my flashlight batteries didn't want to do that let's go out there and check out this room I heard them before I saw them swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came I spun around just as the cloud was upon me for an instant I stared into a hundred dead eyes black pearls glittering in the darkness I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Wow, 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 wow. We got a shotgun, yo. Oh, yeah, brother.
Yes, we'll, we'll definitely... With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. True, true, true. Let's turn this thing on. Ugh, that should wake up the natives. Let's take a look around here real quick, see if there's... Oh, we got some healing light here, nice. I'll make a run for this light, man. Crazy dude. I'm guessing this is the path. Gonna call that good? Yeah. Oh, and there's a ladder. Alright. Alright, alright. I don't know if we get this on the first shot. I don't look that way. this light. Alright. Alright. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm, I'm this a dude, night Bob owl. Ross. On nights like this, I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Happy little trees. An old man like me, wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and who'd keep you company all night long if I weren't? Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just... I don't want to hear what the cut to say. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find him. Probably a rabbit. Sure. All right. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs okay. Toby, they could grab him. My number's... Got an arrow back here. And Toby's a friendly dog? Nice. Alright, alright. Trying to get decked out on that ammo stuff. I don't see any more. What is this yellow box, though? Okay, they shifted to music. Commentary's over. What is this? Oh, we got another manuscript. At first, I kept finding the pages nice. as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Interesting. The gas station was closer now, its light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Belly Burster is the best with no contest. Monster Dog, 
is second best. The famous dog is. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. That is just creepy, dude. I won't lie. Everybody hide the dust. Still got crazy noises, man. Hey. At your bitch. Where are you at? Where are you at? We're good, we're good. I kind of figured we need to get that thing fired up. Gas station's right over there. Safe haven, okay. I just don't know where this trail's at, man. Hmm. bro hey got me hey buddy you chilling get that health back up they can run at it bro are crazy gotta reload my pistola hmm oh he double tapped me can't believe that wow holy crap dude Bit of a control vibe there, I won't lie. And I, I feel like I'm lost out here, dude. I mean, no kidding. I stepped creepy. into the gas station's creepy. garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Wow, 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 wow. Gotta be getting close, dude. Oh, something on the rocks. Arrow pointing that way. Oh, 
true, true. Uh, it's not open yet. Where are you at there? Whatever your name is. Oh, this arrow's pointing up this way. There's another arrow pointing right there. Okay. Got it. I'm going for it, man. We're whipping out the shotgun. Music changed to everything. Oh, freaking bird, dude. Got me. Gotta go in here and take a look. No thermos, manuscript, anything. Back up here on the main thing. Oh, it looks like we're going into another oh, lumber yard thing. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, dude. That's crazy, bro. Wow. Now eat that, dude. Okay. Alan's hurting, bro. I can tell you that flare gun saved my ass. I definitely can't spam X. You have to uh, time your X just right. Okay, okay. Nothing up there. Got another manuscript. The cabin the on Calder station. Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Hmm. Cabin on Calder Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this thing. Alright, yeah, these guys are starting to, you know, be more and more. Looking crazy, man. All the shadows across the mountains and stuff and everything. Fucking birds flying around. Excuse my language. Apologies. Alright, I hear the bro. I just don't see the bro. Take a look back here real quick. Alright. I'm just gonna like ease up on these dudes and take them out. When they sneak up behind you, dude, it's not cool. Uh, like that. He didn't. He's good. Oh no. The engine Dropping tools. 
Nice. Screw this dude, see if we can run. Thought I saw green, yep. Something green over here. What is this thing? That was our first boss or not. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. True, true. Definitely gonna go back up to that uh loot box. went through quite a few batteries on that one all right we'll take just a quick look around um, there was a thermos I don't know if we picked it up or not maybe we did it was a little crazy definitely was a little crazy looking good there it is yes we didn't all right obviously have to get this gate open You know me, OCD, gotta look. Yeah, I would definitely rather tap down on the left stick to sprint, but yeah, I have it set up with the X button to sprint. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. True. True. up here and take a look after the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness the lights of the gas station felt comforting at least for a moment the sane world reasserted itself oh. ain't nothing in the jalopy Okay, I don't want to get stuck back here. That would suck. Didn't have to redo the boss fight over again. We're good. Off to the gas station, man. Got another manuscript. Um, this place isn't as busy as I thought it would be. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Mm. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. 
Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Crazy. Yeah, it's Stucky who is, uh... Okay. It was a dude that we were supposed to be getting. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Hmm. Okay, we focused on it. We're focused. Got another thermos. Enter the gas station. Okay. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's snoring. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. These what? These do not recycle. Okay. Crazy dude. Ooh. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin. Outside the story, there's only <sighs> darkness. I can feel the presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Well, now you're kind of breaking and entering right now. Uh, the 68th annual Deer Fest, September 15th through the 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, and surprise competitions, and live music. For children of Bucktooth Charlie afternoons, and Montgomery, the mystic, amazing, phantasmagoria evenings. Don't miss this legendary deer fest parade, y'all. Y'all, y'all here? Make sure you come back. Got some beer? Hell yeah, brother. Find a phone. Okay. Great Falls Sheriff Station. Yoink. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? Mm. I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Wow. Nice conundrum. And if you do, and if you don't. Wow. Entire island has disappeared. She's like, you crazy, son. You crazy. Some of these cutscenes are still 30 FPS. A candy colored clown they call the Sandman. Wow, 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 wow. My room every I gotta actually turn that down. Because your ass will get DMCA'd. And you'll get a strike on your channel. True. 
End of episode uh, one. Oh, damn. Previously on Alan Way. Previously on Alan Way. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff told me the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Wow, 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 wow. New York City, 30 years ago. Holy crap, dude. Clean shaven Alan Wake. This Honey, is kind of I'm kind of like watching old Friday the Thirteenth movie or some old Worst Halloween movie. I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Alrighty, y'all. We are going to take a pause for the cause right here, right now. That's uh, not too bad. Not too bad. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's warming up. That's uh, we'll be rocking and rolling on this. One. Holy crap, dude! Boy, the weather is bad out there. Damn. Wow, wow, wow. I would better get, get some coffee. But anyways, just want to say thanks for the love and support on the channel as always, y'all. Man, Halloween begins to come up. <laughs> what do you think, Luther? Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. I'm outie. Peace.